Dear students, this is Soumya from BRRHS Sergre. Today, I will start your 10th standard lines first chapter that is the chemical reactions and equations. Before going to discussion of the chemical reactions and equations, first we shall know about some basic concepts of chemistry. In the universe, all things are made by the material and which scientists have named matter. The matter consists of particles, the particle consists of atoms. Now let's see what is an atom. Atom, atom is a smallest minor particle which is indivisible. Yes, atom is a smallest minor particle which cannot be divided further. It is indivisible and we cannot see with our naked eye. But it consists of three fundamental subatomic particles such as electrons, protons and neutrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles, protons are positively charged particles and a neutron is electrically neutral. Neutrons are there is no charged particle. The electron is revolved around the nucleus of an atom but protons and neutrons are combined together present inside the nucleus of an atom. Okay student, now let's come to molecule. Molecule is a group of atoms combined together. Group of atoms combined together to form a molecule. For example, oxygen molecule. Oxygen molecule contains only oxygen atoms. Next is elements. Any substance that contains only one kind of an atom. Element is a substance that contains only one kind of an atom. For example, carbon element. You know that carbon is an element. Carbon consists of only carbon atoms. Next, you come to Elements are combined chemically to form compounds. Elements are combined together to form a compound. Example, water is a compound in the water, hydrogen and oxygen. Both elements combine in a proper proportion to form a water. Here, the new substance is formed by the change. The change is chemical change. The new substance cannot be regained to its original state. Such kind of reaction is called chemical reaction. The same reaction is represented in the form of an equation that is called chemical equation. Ok student, in this today's class we shall discuss about the chemical reactions and equations. Dear student, in this chapter we will discuss about chemical reactions, chemical equation, writing a chemical equation, balance chemical equation, types of chemical reactions, oxidation and reduction, corrosion and transitivity. This chapter is start with chemical reaction. The process which brings a chemical change is called chemical reaction. In our daily life, we come across so many situations such as milk turn into curd, the food what we eat get digested in the stomach, the respiration process, the grapes get fermented. These are all examples for chemical change. And some observations are there to clear understanding the chemical reaction and to determine the chemical reaction. Now let's see which are those observations. Change in state, change in color, evolution of gas, change in temperature. These are observations to determine the chemical reaction. And next we go to another activity to clear understanding the chemical reaction. Now come to activity, burning of magnesium vapor with A. Here, before going to perform this activity, first we clean magnesium ribbon with sandpaper. Why it is clean? Because magnesium is a metal, it is going to rust already when it is exposed to air. Because of that reason, magnesium ribbon is must clean with sandpaper. 
before going to do this activity. Okay, children. Now come to activity. The magnesium ribbon is start burning with the help of spray lamp. It is start burning by using the oxygen present in the atmosphere. When it start burning, it produces white dazzling flame. After some time, it gives a residue. The residue is collected in watch glass. The residue is a product of magnesium oxide. The magnesium oxide is in the form of powder. Here, the reaction takes place. This reaction is right in the form of an equation like this. Magnesium reacts with the oxygen present in the atmosphere to produce this magnesium oxide. Now, here understood the reaction takes place. This, the reaction is right in the form of an equation. This equation is very helpful to clear and easily understanding of the chemical reaction. Student, in this activity, burning of magnesium ribbon with A, the description of the reaction in the form of a sentence is quite long. It can be shorter to write the reaction like this. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. See children here, this is called word equation of the reaction. In this reaction, the things are used are called reactants and the new substance is formed is called product. The reactants of the reaction in the equation write on left hand side and the product is write on right hand side of the equation. Here two or more reactants are connect with the plus sign in the same way two or more products are coming during the reaction they are also connect with plus sign and the reactant and the product is connect with a arrow symbol and the arrow head is point towards the product this indicates direction of the reaction this equation is called word equation the word equation is more concise and useful when we use to write the chemical formula. See children here, magnesium right has Mg, oxygen is right has O2 and the product magnesium oxide is right MgO. Now observe this equation. Here we count number of atoms of the reactant element must equal to number of atoms of the elements of the product. If it is equal, then the equation is said to be balanced. But sometimes it, it is not equal. Such kind of equations are called skeletal form of equations. Listen children, the number of atoms of the elements of left hand side or reactants must equal to number of atoms of the right hand side. Sometimes they cannot equal such kind of reaction and the equation is called skeletal form of chemical equation. Ok student, till now we discussed about some basic concepts of chemistry, the chemical reaction and some observations to determine the chemical reaction and one activity that is burning of magnesium with magnesium ribbon with air and writing a chemical equation. I think all of you understood. So I will leave some homework to regarding this concept. Okay. Take now. What is chemical reaction? Second question. Which are the observations to determine the chemical reaction? And next third one is why magnesium ribbon is clean with sandpaper before going the performance. The last one is what is a skeletal form of chemical equation. Thank you.